Welcome into the Laura Martin Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined with Stevenson head field hockey coach Laura Martin. And coach, just one game last week after the rain out at Salisbury. Right. Tough game against Washington. What do you take away and what do you learn about yourselves from that type of game? Um, yeah, I mean, the Washington game uh, will be an incredible opportunity for us to learn and grow from that. Um, some of the tactical things is we did not respond well to goals um, as far as when we scored a goal or we had a goal scored against us. So uh, the reaction to those um, those critical five minutes to four minutes after a goal is scored is huge and and we need to adjust that tactically. Um, I think also there were a lot of um, big calls made in that game. So there were multiple cards, um, two penalty strokes, one goal called against or away. And um, how do you react to that? How do you continue to keep in your mindset and um, still control the controllables and react positively and come out on top? And um, so that's something we can work on as well. And then from a coach's perspective, I need to figure out how to convert more of our APCs. Um, we had quite a few attack penalty corners that we should have converted on and we did not. So um, a lot of video review for me and some work to um, hopefully change that for the better. I think one of the storylines of your young season is the youth. Uh, a lot of youth are getting goals. Is that something you foresaw coming into the season, looking at your roster? It is young. Yeah. Did you expect this many freshmen to get on the board? Well, I think our struggle last year was the inability to put the ball in the net. We had some phenomenal players, some, um, and we continue to have phenomenal players, especially um, the junior class. A lot of these kids have been starting since they've been freshmen. And um, I think it's they're the creators that are giving – you know, the youth, some of the freshmen um, off the bench and some starters, uh, as well as um, Tanner as a sophomore is up there as well, uh, the opportunity to finish. So um, I, the youth are getting the points, uh, but it collectively it, it is um, about the entire team. Looking ahead, your home versus Goucher on Thursday, and then you hit the road yeah. for four straight games beginning on Saturday at Shenandoah. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. they happen. <laughs> Little road trips. Yeah. Uh, what do you expect, or what do you hope to see from your team in those games? Well, um, the Goucher game is is going to be exciting because um, we've been training with them, and they're you know our next door neighbors. So it's turned into a friendly rivalry, if you will. So I expect. Um, I expect both teams to uh, be really fighting for a win on um, Thursday. And then, um, you know, the road trips, uh, obviously um, traveling on the road can be a real bonding experience. So a lot of good things on the bus, some hopefully some study hours on the bus. And, um, and we'll go from there. So um, I, I feel positive about this team. I like the girls. I like the work ethic. And um, I, I think we'll, we'll move on positively. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Hopefully two wins yes. this week. Let's do that. She's Laurel Martin. I'm Sam Murray, and you've been watching The Laurel Martin Show.